and there we go we have android version 4.2 installed on the racer now just set up your device And when the setup is complete, you can see that Android version 4.2 is loaded on your device. Starting from the lock screen, here you can see that we can install the widgets on a device. You see, we have got these home screen widgets now on our phone. There we go. Uh, let's open, let's install some other widget. I have to sign in to install Google, uh, install Gmail, so just give me a moment. <coughs> Sorry about that people, I have finally uh, set up the device. So when we install any other widget on the lock screen, and there we go, we have the Gmail widget on the lock screen. I think we can also customize this widget over here. Uh, no, we can't customize this widget over here, but here you so you can see that I have got multiple with multiple apps Installed on the lock screen Now swiping between them isn't very smooth But now after I think a little bit of sync The swiping is pretty smooth. So you get the idea and when we unlock the phone There we go, we have this Android version 4.2 stock launcher with Google Now installed on it. Yes, the Google Now is working. And we have got the Android version 4.2 stock launch, stock notification bar with quick settings. Uh, to open quick settings, just simply slide the notification down, notification bar down with two fingers to open the quick settings panel and the quick settings is really helpful and I really like this notification bar and it's one of the key features of Android version 4.2 we have got the messaging working with the 4.2 stock keyboard with the swipe that it works really nicely and what else is working the Wi-Fi is working so let's check the browser whether it's working or not and I think the browser is also working it will take time to sign in the market play store it's working taking time to load but I think that till now like right now it's pretty stable There's, there are no faults let's try the camera whether it works or not no the camera doesn't work at all and the same goes for Bluetooth I think Bluetooth will also not work but other than that the phone is quite stable and it's really fun now and if you guys want to go back to your stock ROM or any other ROM just simply Reboot your device into recovery from the reboot option. and then choose the boot options mode and select the stock room stock rom mode and activate this mode and there we go now you have got your stock rom now booted on your device now whenever you will reboot your device you will be booting into your stock rom
and if you want to switch back to Android version 4.2 you have to do the same thing so thanks for watching guys this was a quick look at the Android version 4.2 for the Motorola Razr and a video guide to on how to install version 4.2 on your Razr if you like this video then please comment down below and subscribe to me thanks for watching guys